Hey guys, I am back with my next Yimmy Twins video. Times two! And there's Indy. Because, yeah, I don't know what happened exactly, but, like, I think one either came, like, right before I left for, uh, Katsukon, or something like that. But then, like, yesterday the other one showed up. So I was like, oh, I have two now. Yeah, that's a thing. So, anywho, I have two of them to open. So I was like, well, I could do, do I could do separate videos, but why not? Why would I do that? This is easier. So we're going to shift the newer one to the side. So, um, Yumi Twins is a kawaii subscription box. I'll put their website and the price point down below. I think it's around $30 a month. But, yeah. So there is the box. And let's just get going. First off, here is the pamphlet that says, um, gives you some information. This theme for February, so this is a February box, is new favorites. Here's the back. And it has, um, they've revamped the Yumi Twins brand, which I think they mentioned in like January. Not looking there. This is apparently, I think, one of the things that is in here, which is kind of creepy, info about the photo contest, things about the Yumi Prize that no one I know ever, be, ever gets, and then they have a beauty box, which I thought about trying, but, um, you know, I tried the Doki Doki one and I was not happy with it, so I didn't want to spend the money trying this one. I think Anime Palooza is trying it though, so I would be interested in seeing her videos. And then the community page, which has cute pictures of everyone. So there we go. So I'm going to go to the February side and see what we have here. So first off, we have a sheet hook from Shum Sumiko Karashi. I never know if I'm saying that right or not. So, I'm not sure what a sheet hook is. Does this tell me what a sheet hook is? Oh, it's a wall hook. Okay. Um, this month we have a practical wall hook with cute Sumiko Karashi designs. Which of the four characters did you get? This one! Whichever one this one is. So, that's interesting. I guess you like it, the adhesive on the back or something. So we have that. <gasps> yeah, hey, hey, Nico Atsume. I love me some Nico Atsume. So we have Nico Atsume. I love me some Nico Atsume. It's a reusable shopping bag. Oh my gosh, this is totally going to the farmer's market with me. Which is funny, because in my Tokyo Taku mode, I bought a bag. But it was, like, ridiculously small. This looks like it's very big. Kind of afraid. I don't want to really take it out. I'm going to show you guys the picture. Well, here is the cover. That's nice that it has a little case. And here is the one that I got, which is the yellow one. So it looks like that. I'm happy I got the one with tubs on it. The other one doesn't look like it has tubs. So that's awesome. So that's totally going to the farmer's market, and that's a nice big size, and it looks like it's washable, because it's like, yeah. And then I got, oh, a kitty. I think it's a kitty. A kitty and a banana? So here is the kitty and a banana. Yeah, it's Banyan Mini Mascot Keychain. Banyan is a popular Japanese anime based on a white cat who lives inside a banana. Spongebob Squarepants, anybody? Um, so, yeah, one of five. So, I mean, I got this one, which is cute, because it looks like it's probably the Calico Cat, which... My Cleo is Calico, so I love Calicos. Then I have... Let's do the smaller thing. Oh, this is adorable! What are you? You kind of look like, um... Um... Oh, goodness. The thing that they give in Doki Doki all the time that I miss. That's adorable. So it is a Amuse, Amuse Cat a la Mode keychain. Check out the super quiet keychain we got this month. Made by Amuse, the yummy looking sweets has a cute 
cute cat motif on it. That's adorable. That might be the favorite thing out of the box. That's, I love that. That is so cute. But then there's Nico Atsume. This is like a very cat heavy box, which is awesome. And then I think the last thing I got is this ginormous thing. So we're gonna get this box out of the way. Oh my. That's really soft, I will give it that. So there is this, which looks like a ginormous bunny with beans. It's kind of creepy, not gonna lie. Um, Shinada Fom Fomo Fomo San Plushie. Oh my gosh. Butchering that, I am sure. Here it is. I am shaking. I need to eat. So, um, it's an unidentified creature, that's correct, that lives at the top of the clouds and was discovered in 2002 by a Japanese plushie maker. Even has its own line of line stickers. Aren't these adorable? Not really, but okay. Um, here's my guy. He just can sit there. Um, so that is the February box. I'm going to actually pause so I can let this cat that's scratching at the door out, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. And with the next one, which obviously is March. So this is the March box. And it's Totoro themed. Awesome. So here is the cover, and the theme is Totoro. That is awesome. Totoro! We're proud to introduce Totoro to our line of character make characters making an appearance in the Yumi Twins box. Awesome. That's what's in it. We're not going to look at that. Something about folding up an origami box, which I'm guessing is in here. The photo contest. The Yumi prize, which, oh, the Hello Kitty would have been awesome. The Hello Kitty. The Ghibli Museum, which if I ever go to Japan, I would love to go there. And then the photo contest. So, let's just get going. And because I have all the others on the side, I'm probably going to shift this off to the bottom. Do, 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 do. And just pull. So first off, we have a 3D jigsaw puzzle. I will admit, I suck at these. I usually have my sister put them together. But that's cool. Then we have... Oh, okay. Origami paper with Totoro on it. Oh my gosh. I mean, like, I know I'm supposed to be using this to make origami, but it's totally being used for my planner. So we're just going to call a spade a spade. So here are the designs. Oh my gosh, totally doing a Totoro theme. That is awesome. Next off, we have got... Totoro hand towel, which I always take. I love these guys. I just put them in the bathroom, and then, like, if I need to take a hand towel with me, like, if I'm going to, like, a friend's house where, like, they don't always have hand towels, because some people don't always have hand towels, I will take this. And that is adorable. That's adorable. Then we have... What is this? Is this something? Something. I build something. My neighbor Totoro origami kit. So they want me to do more origami. <laughs> so challenge your art skills, or my sister will, um, with this wonderful Totoro origami kit. The kit comes complete with enough paper for three different sized Totoros, cat bus, and the Kus by house. Uh, convenient enough, the box can be used as a display stand for your next to for your new Totoro origami collection. Kit comes ready with instructions in Japanese, but if you check the link written on the instruction paper, you'll be taken to the official how-to video. Okay. Yeah. Um, that'll get done eventually. And then, last but not least, the one that I saved the best for last, because oh my gosh, it's so cute. Ugh. Look at the kitty! Oh my gosh, maybe it's not a kitty, I don't know, I don't care, it looks like a kitty. Um, Shinada, oh it's them, them again, um, makes an appearance in your box in the form of, you guess it, a blush. These cute animals from the series are said to bring you good luck, they're said to ensure your good fortune by meditating with their eyes closed. 
Whether or not they actually bring go good luck, they will certainly bring you comfort with these cute facial expressions and softness. Which of the characters did you get? The cat. I am so excited I got the cat. <gasps> it's so soft. Nope, you are. Are you crooked? I feel like you're crooked. <laughs> camera. Sorry, the camera was crooked. Um, so that's everything in the February and the March Yumi Twins box. Um, it's funny because the February one, I like these three. The This one, I like these three. So, I don't really care about the origami kit, um, yeah, so, but we'll see, my sister might want to do it. I do love the towel, it's adorable, the, the picture's adorable, and I love the, the paper, because I can totally use that for my planners. So, anyways, this is the unboxing for February and March of Yumi Twins. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys later for the next video. Everyone have a very good rest of the day. Bye!